Devil's Backbone started as a, as a brew pub in 2008. Really, that was all it was really supposed to be. I started winning some awards, started getting some recognition, so we opened up this production facility. Uh, the first brew was December 2011. Seems like ever since we I've started here, we've just been constantly expanding, uh, building new buildings, putting new tanks, adding more equipment. We finally found ourselves last year um, at the point where we didn't really have the land to expand close by to the rest of our facility. Uh, so we ended up building a new packaging hall. It's about 1,200 foot away from the rest of our facility, which kind of came with its own set of challenges. We recently finished a 52,000 square foot expansion of our packaging facility, and Southern Air played a pretty critical role in all of the piping and process design. Back behind me, you can see some of our bottle and can fillers and a lot, a lot of stuff at Southern Air had to hang up in this building. We're here at Devil's Backbone Brewing Company. We recently completed a project of adding a new packaging hall to their production line. It was a, a very difficult and interesting project as the buildings are separate. The project involved us putting in a pipe bridge that would transport their beer from their brew house to their new packaging hall. Certainly an engineering challenge and probably one of the pieces that we spent some of the most time developing during the course of the build. Southern Air had to design a pipeline for us that would span a quarter mile approximately, reaching from one building into the brand new facility we just built. Not only does the pipeline span a almost quarter mile, but it also drops an elevation of 28 feet across the whole length of it. This poses interesting problems with uh, liquid flow. As anyone knows, everything likes to flow downhill, or all liquids like to flow downhill. And this added elevation drop posed other interesting challenges when creating a pipeline that would adequately meet our needs. The pipe bridge that we installed between the buildings uh, took a lot of design and fabrication to get that exactly how we needed it. Uh, with the elevation changes and the length of run of piping between the buildings, we had to worry about things such as temperature control, freezing. Our design team did a great job of calculating expansion. Lots of anchors and guides went in and lots of loops um, to control that expansion in a way that would protect the piping and the product. We also added heat tracing to the piping to keep it from freezing if it is very cold outside. Another interesting challenge was chemical resistance and the ability to not create too much uh, process interruption with such a long pipeline. Anytime you're cleaning a pipe, you typically need a cleaning pipe as part of the solution in order to create a closed loop circuit. We created an interesting solution where we didn't use a dedicated CIP pipeline, but we actually created it as one big circulation loop. This allows us, in case we have any kind of downtime or we're changing over or switching formats, to circulate the beer continuously in the pipeline while maintaining its temperature down to 31 degrees nonstop. One of the main reasons for the steam boiler on this project was the CIP system. Uh, that's their clean in place system. The owner actually purchased the skid and we worked with them on all of the controls, the wiring, the piping, obviously the steam supply. We needed to make sure we met those requirements because the CIP system is very important to their process. Some other interesting challenges we faced here were the moving of a whole packaging facility from one building to another. The facility is about 52,000 square foot, allows us to do all the receiving, all the shipping out of there, all the beer production, just all in one spot in-house, and actually have the room to expand and also just have a little bit more room where we're not sort of climbing all over top of each other, like we have been up top. We went from approximately 42 gear motors on our conveyor all the way up to 64. We halved again the amount of electrical connections we had to make in this new building while also having to remake all the old ones we already had existing. Lo and behold, the Southern Air electricians were able to stay way ahead almost of the guys moving the equipment down and they did a very wonderful job of keeping everything as elevated as they could. It gives us a nice open workspace with the conduit drops right at the pieces of equipment. Once we have the beer from the existing brew house down to the new packaging hall, uh, one of the key things was to keep the beer at the right temperature. But we designed and fabricated and installed a heat exchanger skid. Uh, that housed the pumps that would control the flow. Also had a glycol-based chiller 
that controlled the temperature through the heat exchangers, and that allowed us to, to really hone in exactly what the owner needed as far as flows and temperatures, and an ability to get the product to the equipment when they needed it at the temperatures they require. What this expansion has allowed us to do is really build for the future. We had pretty much used every last little bit of space that we had in our current facility. So with this addition of the new building, we'll be able to add more capability, more, faster bottle fillers. Uh, should be able to take us you know, from where we are now to more than doubling, maybe possibly even tripling the production we're able to get out of this facility within the next few years or so. As a new build, it required a whole new set of utility equipment. We installed a new 150 horsepower Burnham boiler, a new 75 horsepower Atlas Copco compressor, and a train chiller in addition to the packaging line layout and electrical implementation. We also installed a brand new 12,000 square foot cooler that is chilled off of our new glycol chiller. When we were located in our previous warehouse, didn't really have the capacity to, to stock up as, as well as we should have been able to. So now we're able to have the right amount of product in time for the, the trucks that are coming to pick it up and take it to the customers. This project included several different systems. We've had steam, compressed air, we have the beer in the process lines. In that, there are multiple different piping systems. We've used a, a lot of high purity stainless steel tubing, both standard and metric. We've had carbon steel well pipe, copper, type L, type K. Um, we've used press fit and solder joints. Uh, also a lot of threaded pipe with the gas systems that we have installed. It really allowed us to, to use all of our skills in the piping fields and installing so many different systems in one place and our ability to do that let the owner work with one customer and we were able to fulfill all their needs regardless of what the piping system was. Beer as a very perishable product requires high degrees of hygiene. Stainless steel is the favorite medium for piping and transferring beer and it's very, very important that the welds are extremely clean and professionally done. With the amount of piping we were doing on this project, Southern Air invested in two new orbital welding machines along with all the heads and accessories we needed to complete the work for both standard and metric piping. Hand welding, while it has its place, is no substitute for orbital welding. Orbital welding creates a perfect weld every time and you know exactly what to expect. They give us the ability to put out some extremely high quality work at a very fast pace so our production levels go up and we don't only not compromise our quality, our quality improves. Both the owner, all the inspectors, everyone who's seen any of our work resulting from these orbital machines has been extremely pleased. One of the interesting challenges of this project involved all the automation required. To use a basic analogy, it's the difference between doing dishes by hand, which sometimes get clean, and using a dishwasher. We wanted to make sure that all the controls were in place so that we had consistent, repeatable, and high standards of hygiene. We designed and fabricated crossover panels, worked with Devil's Backbone on exactly what inlets and outlets they would need on those, fabricated those in our shop, and they came out looking great. The customers were very happy and met their needs as far as what they needed to, to be able to input and, and take out the product as they needed it, depending on what manufacturing they had going on at that time. One of the key things that led to our success on this project was the ability to prefabricate items in our shop. We prefabricated uh, heat exchanger skids and pump skids and crossover panels. Did a lot of things that we brought out to the job site that were already ready to be installed. Sped up our production, allowed us to, to do it in a controlled environment, and made us more productive and assured we put out a very high quality product. Along with our prefabrication, we can design and lay out do full CAD drawings, spool out drawings for our fab shop, uh, give them a very detailed map of what we're looking for. Our CAD and engineering team does an exceptional job of, of building the pathway for us to, to fabricate what we need and what the project needs, uh, which plays a key role in staying on, on the tight schedules that everyone has now. The engineering challenges, you know, on paper, they're, they're one thing, and then when you actually start doing the day-to-day -day process of, you know, running actual production, that's when some of the things maybe you didn't think about start to rear their head. And Southern Air has really done a really good job of, of coming together and just kind of keeping it conversational and kind of keep, just keeping that uh, two-way dialogue going so that when problems arose, we were able to come together as a team, come up with a solution, implement the, the change, and, and move on with it.
It was really good, good teamwork. The engineering department over at Southern Air did a phenomenal job of being able to design and implement this whole project pretty flawlessly. They were also extremely accommodating in terms of uh, slight changes that need to be made on any project this big. The best plan you start with is good until you start working, and then, of course, things change. Southern Air was able to adapt and accommodate our needs at every twist and turn of this long, arduous journey that I'm very glad to be done with. Sort of. Our team was able to get involved in this project pretty early on, uh, working directly with the owner, and that allowed our engineering team to, to dive into the needs and requirements of the job and really work hand in hand with the owner to make sure that we designed a system that would work for their needs. We pride ourselves in being able to, to sit down and meet with the owner, talk about what they need, talk about what their wants are, um, design a system around what they would like to see as, as an end product, and really work with them hand in hand throughout the process to make sure we can give them what they expect at the very end of the project. What excites me you know, about the future is, is just sort of the unknown, you know, so there's always, you know, packaging innovations, different challenges coming up that you, that we just can't even think of, but the, the new facility that, that we have is going to let us stay nimble and be able to, to kind of change gears when we need to, so it's, it's going to be positive for our growth for sure. Our team not only designed and installed the process section of this project, we also did the, the standard building. Uh, we designed the HVAC, electrical and plumbing for the warehouse, uh, the restrooms, office spaces, your standard ductwork, split systems. The Southern Air team can really fulfill the needs of, of the whole project from start to finish, from design to installation. And, and that gives us a, a great advantage to, to some other companies that that we can provide everything you need in an expansion or a renovation from start to finish from the building side all the way through to the process side, both at engineering level and an installation level. With the successful completion of this project, I think it proves what Southern Air and our team can bring to the table. Um, from design through fabrication, installation, commissioning and follow-up, our team has met the owner's needs from start to finish and we feel like we can do that on any project that comes our way.